Hey everybody, Derry really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Dangerous Relationship along Ruhei Shindo's path. We are on Chapter 5, The Jealous Idol. And in the last episode, we finally got together and jumped feet first into things, just like we did in several other storylines. No hesitation here. No matter that none of us are experienced, we just rush right into things. Well, anyway, you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. About one hour had passed since we were locked in the storage room. That's all? Hearing a faint click from outside, I scrambled away from Rohe. It swung open slowly, and behind it... Is it really? At the door was Takuya, with a mischievous grin on his face. Oh, I knew it, I called it, what I say? Takuya? Rohe's here too. Oh, I got worried about you since you never came back. Sure you did. What happened? Why are you two blushing? Takuya gestured his hand as if turning a lock. I had a bad feeling that soon proved to be true. Don't tell me this was your doing. It looks like it went just as good as I could have imagined. Kinda took longer than I was thinking, though. Huh? You were taking so long, I came back to check on you, and... Well, let's just say I turned back because you two seemed busy. Ugh. He had heard us. A dreadful sweat broke out across my skin as my body heated up with shame. Even Ryohei was blushing from head to toe and tried to hide his face. You should have minded your own business. Yeah, but if I hadn't passed the ball to you, you would have never scored. <laughs> A nice goal. Giving him one final thumbs up, Takoya walked away and into the studio. Jeez! I'm useless. I can't even admit my own feelings without someone's help. No, it's okay. I love that part of you. You do? He questioned me meekly. Yeah. Good, because I love you too. Ruhei leaned his head in front of me and smiled. Just like the first night he held it, the warmth as his hand held my hand soothed my heart. It had been one week since we were trapped in the storage, and one week since we were dating. That day, I was working as Takuya's stylist again. When Subaru came to the dressing room to visit, we told him the great news. So... You're seeing each other now? Yeah, and I have to say, I'm sorry for snapping at you that one time. What? You got in a fight with him? Yeah, it surprised me too. Shows how much he really likes her. Ugh. Look at him blushing. Hey, so innocent. You able to put up with this? Wait, you're doing it too. I hadn't realized I was blushing too until he pointed it out. Cut it out. Birds of a feather, right? I might be able to use you two as inspiration for a song. Subaru chuckled at his own suggestion. Takuya, have a minute? I need to talk to you about something. Someone from the studio staff called out for Takuya from behind the door. Just a minute. He ran to the door and spoke with the staff in a voice too quiet to hear. That looks like I got somewhere to go for a meeting. Aren't you having it at the back? Not this time. I want some coffee, so we're going to a cafe to talk. It'll take an hour. Takuya took his leave with his usual energetic smile. Well then. Subaru decided it was time to leave too and stood up from his seat. See you two later. Get along now. Yeah. The door quietly clicked shut behind him. With just Rohe and I left in the room, an awkward silence loomed in the air. No, not awkwardness. <laughs> <laughs> Both of us laughed at the same time, giggling nervously at the situation. Seeing each other laugh, we turned toward each other and laughed even more. Do really? You know what? I'd like for you to pick my clothes. Really? I'm supposed to go to the next show in my own clothes. I'm not good at picking them out. Refuse? Why? Why would I refuse? But I'm not your stylist today. I see. His face was shrouded by disappointment, so I quickly followed myself up. But besides... If I pick, it won't be our own clothes you'd be wearing, would it? That's okay. You'll be picking my clothes soon enough anyway. Uh, I lost my breath when he muttered something that sounded like a proposal. Glancing at his face, Rohe was smiling at me like usual. He must not have meant for it to sound like that. How about we pick it together then? Sure. The two of us began to look through clothes to pick out his outfit to wear. This will help bring out your friendly persona. What's this? No, too much. You stand out a lot already, and a hat would only hide your face. Are you listening? 
Druhe wasn't saying anything, so I glanced back and he was looking at me instead of clothes. I think I'm doing all the work here. It's not going to be his outfit at all. I'm listening, but this is the first time I've seen you work. You're so hardworking and cute that I can't help but love it. <sighs> Out of the side of my eye, I saw my cheeks blush red in the mirror. Don't make such a cute face at me. It's not fair. Ryuhei placed his hands on my shoulders. He closed his eyes before I did mine. Looking at his long eyelashes, I became entranced with the beauty of his face. The shadow of his face loomed over mine, and soon our lips touched each other. His tongue pressed past my lips and into my mouth. My vision wavered and swirled as the wonderful sensation assaulted my senses. Mmm. I felt weak and dizzy, as if drunk, and my legs trembled beneath me. Mmm. Ah. Uh. Really, I... Ryohei slid his hands up my body and toward my chest. We don't have time for this, I don't think. I want more of you. His hands groped my body through my clothes. Ryohei, stop! What if Takuya... He said it'd be an hour, we have at least that long without him, but you might have other people to worry about. He blocked my protest with his lips. You sound so cute, I can't help it. But you have work? Every time I spoke out, he attacked my lips and cut my words short. His hands grazed across me, touching me all over in delicate places. You're so cute, I can't stop. His hungry eyes enticed me to give in, and for a moment I thought I would. But over his shoulder, I saw the time on the clock. Ryohei, stop! Takuya should be back any time now. I don't want him to see... The worry in my voice snapped him out of his craze. S sorry I shouldn't have done that to you. I'm the worst. His head and shoulders slumped with gloom. I'm scared. It's like I lose control of myself. I've never felt like this before. No? When I see you, I want to touch you so bad. I can't make myself stop. Even if I know I shouldn't in my head, I can't stop it. Ryohei. I'm sorry. I really am. Now you sound like Akira. You aren't forcing me to do anything. I want to too, but not right now. You're right. Just then, there was a gentle knock on the door. I'm back. Takuya had come back one hour later like clockwork. When he saw the two of us blushing, panic crossed his eyes. Sorry, I'll leave again. Is 30 minutes enough? No, it's okay. You need more time. I can come back in an hour. That's not what I meant. Ryohei was getting teased by Takuya, but he didn't know any better. I watched on with amusement as Ryohei fell deeper and deeper into his web. As the time when the recording would begin drew near, Ryohei glanced at the clock anxiously. I'm going to head back to my room then. Kaoru and Koichi should be heading out soon, too. Okay, see you later, Drilly. Ryohei looked at me with a smile. E -de 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 -de. Good luck. Good luck, I'll be watching you. Thanks. He clenched his fist confidently before leaving out the door. As soon as he reached the doorknob, someone knocked on the door. Whoa. Ryohei and the girl who jumped through the door just barely avoided knocking each other over. Kya! She overzealously shrieked and stuttered back. Huh? Ryohei? I recognized her as a gravure model named Kotoha. Hey there, Kotoha. Her young face and large breasts made her wildly popular with the male crowd. She recently started appearing as a singer and must have come to be in today's show. I wondered if they were friends since they seemed to know each other well. Isn't this supposed to be Takuya's room? Yeah, I just came to visit. You need him for something? I came to talk to him about love. I better not get in your way then. See ya. As he went to leave, Kotoha grabbed his arm and pulled him back. Stay! I'm glad you're here. She entwined her arm around his, making sure he was close at her side. I guess she's not very picky about her men, huh? One hottie's as good as the other. Ryohei, you owe me! She nuzzled up close to him and stared cutely up into his eyes. My arm. You promised me you would go on a date with me. Had I just heard that right? I never remember promising you that. Well, that was with me, Kotoha. Me. Takaya came forth, trying to regain his lost date with the girl. Nuh-uh. You said you were going to hook me up with Ryohei. You promised, right? 
Really? Did I? Are you sure? It doesn't matter because I'm not going either way. Can you let me go now? Ryohei twisted and pulled his arm free of the overly friendly girl. Ryohei, no fair! I really, really like you! Come on, we need to get to the studio. It's your first live debut, right? He gave her a dazzling smile as she clung close to his side. No matter who it was, any girl would easily fall prey to that smile. Inside my heart twinged with jealousy. Yeah. She bashfully looked at the ground and blushed. Why are he so innocent? He's going to get himself into trouble. His words sent ripples of worry through my mind. At the studio, the live show started filming. Takuya dragged me to a corner so I could watch too. Next, we have New Voice joining us on the show today. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. We'll be hearing your newest love song later, so how about talking love first? Oh, I've got plenty of stories to tell you about. Oh, I'd love to hear it, but the folks at the studio are telling me not to go there. Haha, <laughs> I don't think anyone but you wants to hear that. Oh, I think it's common knowledge that Takaya is a bit of a wildcat. How about you others? Why don't you tell us about your first love, Dohei? What? Me? Oh, first love is fun to hear. It makes me tingle inside when I hear a good story. Even I was curious about Rohe's first love. Hmm. My first love. When I'm with her, it's like my heart is squeezing tight. Oh, don't tell me I am his first love. Well, I kind of figured. He was totally inexperienced and all, so that was probably his first time and all. I'm his first love. I took his virginity. <laughs> is that all you got to say? It all sounds very touching. Anymore? Well, when I fell in love, I found out I wanted to touch her more and more. Pfft. Takaya spit out his tea, launching it all over the set. Meanwhile, Ruhei turned and stared toward me. Huh? He can't mean his first love is me. Really? You must have been the stud growing up. How old were you then? Huh? This all happened just... Y you naughty little boy. What the heck, Takuya? Go sit back down. Well, no, that's back in kindergarten when you thought you had a crush on the teacher. Some people wake up early, you know. I wonder if we're even allowed to talk about this. Anyway, it looks like our singer is ready, so how about we give her the stage? Let's hear it for the Gravira Idol and rising singer, Kotoha. She came waltzing out wearing a gaudy outfit to the cheers of the crowd. As she sang and walked onto the stage, you could tell how nervous she was. Our love is a brick, so deep and so thick. Oh, God. The once enthusiastic crowd went completely silent after only moments of listening to her. Well, those lyrics were bad enough. It was such a long song that it would be remembered by all, but in the wrong way. The lyrics were so messed up that the studio stopped airing the subtitles. Oh, so she sang the... the words wrong? She was still nervous after her song when she went to the interview chair. Ugh. <sighs> <laughs> the host doesn't know what to say. <laughs> it was the host's job to talk to her, but even they were at a loss for words. That was a lovely song. It was Rohe that spoke up and said something to her first. I think it captured the feeling very well. You really put your heart into it. Thank you. She smiled back at him with tears in her eyes. Too bad it wasn't the love song. The mood of the studio lightened up as Koichi teased Rohe. However, I couldn't get rid of the strange feeling of something pricking my heart. Back in the dressing room, Takuya left quickly saying he was going out to drink. While I put away the clothes, Rohei came in after knocking on the door. Takuya said I might find you here, Rohei said while blushing. I should thank Takuya. Right, without him, I might not be with you right now, in more than one way. Say, about Takuya... He's really a nice guy, a lot nicer than my first impression of him, at least. Huh? Oh, don't make him jealous. What, am I getting revenge here? Am I trying to make him jealous because he made me jealous of that big boob lady? Ruhe looks stunned to hear me say that. Did I say something weird? No, not really. He really is a good guy. I like him a lot. <laughs> you should confess to him. Maybe I would, if I were a girl. I'll tell him that later. I'm sure he'd be happy to hear it. Do you know his number or something? 
No, I just mean when I see him tomorrow. You're assigned to him again tomorrow? Yeah. Hmm. Rohei slumped down in the chair, looking rather depressed. Ryohei? <sighs> What's the matter? When was your first love? Me? Um, in elementary school, I had a crush on my teacher. How about your first boyfriend? In high school, he was a year older than me, but we soon broke up. Hmm. Yep, I'm the experienced one in this relationship. Why do you ask? You know, I like Takuya a lot and I respect him. I know, you told me. But when I hear you talk about him like that, it hurts. It does? I'm younger than him, and I basically know nothing about love. On the other hand, Takuya is mature, and he doesn't have to ask people's feelings. I wonder why you picked me sometimes. It makes me worry, to be honest. What if you get along with him? What if you compare him and me, and decide I'm boring, and he's the guy for you? What if you end up liking him and not me? He finished with one great breath, and let out a sigh. Until now, I never realized I was this sensitive. It's not like that. You can understand people's feelings just fine. Huh? Back there, you said you liked her song. You were trying to help her. Ugh. It kind of hurt to see you say it, but... You're nice to everyone, Yorhe. You really are. Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. No, it's fine. Don't change. Besides, it was me being jealous, nothing else. Jealous? Hmm... Maybe I'm acting jealous about Takuya, too. He thought deep for a moment, before looking up with a smile. It hurts to be jealous, but it feels good to have someone jealous about you. Still, don't get along too well with Takuya, okay? I'll get along with him if I want. He peered at me with worried eyes. It's okay, I won't. Not that well, at least. Sorry for being so immature. I'm going to try harder than anyone else. So you'll have to like me better than that teacher or high school boyfriend of yours. But oh hey, you... I meant to tell him I already liked him way more than them, but it was too late. My lips were closed by his own. Our lips worked to dissolve the worries in our minds when someone knocked on the door. We quickly broke apart from each other as the door swung open. I'm coming in! This time the visitor was Kotoha. Kotoha, nice work today. Thanks! I got Koichi to tell me where I might find you. She walked in while casting a quick glare in my direction. Hey! Has she just scowled at me? Thanks for what you said back there, Yohei. You don't have to thank me. I just said what I thought. You really gave it your all. Um, Yohei, I'd really like it if you joined me for... Yohei, there you are. His manager peeked in from the crack in the door. Shoot, I forgot I had somewhere to be. Well, saved by the bell, actually. Jeez, hurry up and come get ready. Well, see you. Bye. Ryohei looked at me with a smile before he left. Oh no, I'm left alone with this girl though. In turn, Kotoha, who he had ignored, gave me a look that could kill. The door slammed shut as the manager and Ryohei ran off to their next job. In a strange turn of events, just Kotoha and I remained in the room together. Who do you think you are? Huh? Her once cheerful personality seemed to take a plunge into the dark side. I'm a stylist. What are you two, Ryohei? I'm his bandmate stylist. A stylist. I'm a proud stylist. I'm just a stylist. I was working with Takuya today. Oh, that's it? You're just a stylist? She snorted out her nose while looking relieved to hear that. He's nice to everyone. Aren't you letting it get to your head? Who do you think you are, laughing and blushing with him like that, you pig? P pig Whatever, Ryohei would never care about someone like you. You just keep laughing and giggling, cause all you offer be is one of his fans. She stormed out of the room, slamming the door so loud it shook the walls. What was that? My heart was still pounding from her verbal onslaught. What was her problem, anyway? Little did I know at the time, how much of a hindrance she would be to our relationship. Oh, great. Does that mean there's actually going to be danger in this relationship? For once? For one of the stories? 
<laughs> the only danger that has been in this game so far is when we had a stalker in Tyga's route. I would really like to see some danger in here. Come on, gang, give me something. Alright, well, chapter 6 will be confirming our love again. So I guess we'll get some alone time again. Finally. And reaffirm things. So I hope to see you there or in one of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.